Welcome to Find It in Fergus Falls. I'm Lisa Workman with the Fergus Falls Chamber, where we've got a special treat in store for you today. We are headed out on location with Cars Tree Service. We're gonna see them in action, and then we're gonna chat with them a little bit about what it's like to be part of the Cars Tree Service team. Stay tuned. I'm Caroline Gustafson, Lake Region Run Race Director, with a two-for-one deal for you on this year's run, happening in Fergus Falls on June 3rd. First, the reward of training for and completing the 10-mile, relay, 5K, or 1-mile. The second is the rewarding feeling of helping our local cancer center since all race proceeds support Lake Region's cancer center patients. Another bonus, sweet race shirts and commemorative medals. Sign up today at lakeregionrun.com. Sponsored by Layton Broadcasting, Park Region, Bremer Bank, Tag Up, Giant Seed, Fergus Falls Chiropractic, and Frontier Marine and Power Sports. Welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. We are with uh, the part of the crew, uh, you know, small part of the crew, but big presence here, mm -hmm. with uh, Car Cars Tree Service, been in Fergus Falls. Uh, well, we're, we're gonna be out on a job, or we're gonna, you know, see the real thing in action, but Evan Amundsen and Shay Johnson are joining me on the show today, and Thanks wow. Yeah, yeah, glad you. you guys are here. And, you know, I think we've, especially springtime rolls around, we start seeing the trucks rolling around. And uh, Cars Tree Service has been in Otter Tail County for, for many, many years. And Evan, you've been with the company how long now? Nine years. Going Nine on years. 10. So, yeah, it's been a, been a fun journey. Uh, I started with a crew uh, with some previous experience and we've got to learn more about the company and how it functioned. Uh, there's there's a couple different divisions in Cars Tree Service. There's a utility vegetation management where we work for power line companies and okay. right of ways. So for like Otter Tail Power, Lake Region Electric, 
Those yeah, I mean, of... pretty much you name it in the state, and we're, okay. we're in there working a contract, making sure that the power stays on for, sure. for the residents of the area. Well, there. And that's really important. So you are well beyond Otter Tail County then, too. Yes, yeah. We, so we started out with a, a dad and four sons, and from there, uh, fast forward about 49 years, and here we are today, and we, we are covering pretty much the entire state of Minnesota. Wow. Uh, with about 10 different outposts throughout the state and just really trying to do our best to care for all of the trees out there and the customers that we have. Absolutely. And Shay, uh, you are out on the crew and have been out there too. So tell me about uh, how long you have been on the team here. I've been with cars for a little bit over three years and um, started started three years ago. and. Learning stuff all the time, right? Yeah. Yep. So, so tell me about what one of the things that you like about being out out with the crew. I know we we just went through a downpour. <laughs> it, it just poured, but you know that's not always bad. But tell me a little bit about you know what you enjoy about it. You know, every job's different. Um, the the crew that we have, the bond we we build, has, has been excellent. You know, it, it's every job is different. Being outside, yeah. Um, the equipment we get to run and and just being able to please clients you know really puts a smile on our faces and all the all the different jobs we get to do is is really fun yeah you know and that's kind of i think about like you know when you're a little kid and you're playing in the sandbox and you're moving the sand around and you're doing all the different things and you know you're operating all the different trucks and equipment and stuff like that no we're just no we're just big kids that's exactly yes. what I was thinking. I mean, it, you know, watching you guys work, like everybody's got a little job and they, they're, they're working like literally like a team, a machine where everybody knows where to go and especially to keep everybody safe. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, the, the checking out to make sure, okay, are we ready? Yep, everybody's in the right spot. Yeah, you know, so much is going stuff. on all the time. You really got to have your head on a swivel and, and make sure communication is the biggest thing. You know, everyone's got to know their role yep. and, and what what we're doing and why we're doing it, how we should do it. You know, it's a good job briefing before every job. Okay, Shea, so Shea brings up a good point too on the communication. Yeah. I think I think with anything in life, communication is always key. But um, you know, four of the pillars that that we believe in and that we talk to all of our employees when we bring them on is trust, communication, attitude, and safety. And if all of those things are working together, we've got. The crew working the way that we want to and a business that's working the way that it wants to because if we're not communicating with each other we're having breakdowns in trust and right if we are not trusting each other we're having breakdowns in safety and so it's really important that we communicate thoroughly with our pre-job briefings um, with our customers from the beginning of the job to the very end of the job to make sure that they're satisfied and with our employees to make sure that they're also having what they need to be successful Exactly, and, and like I said, you guys have been doing this for almost 50 years now. I mean, not yourselves personally, you know, and starting to like I'm getting closer, negative but not quite two. there. <laughs> the gray would say otherwise, yeah. but not quite 50 years. <laughs> but you know, the company continues to grow, and you mentioned, um, I think we, we touched barely on like the different pillars of the company as far as the, you know, you're doing the work for the utility companies to keep, again, you know, it, it, we're, we're headed right into that season now while it's year-round when there's heavy wet snow too but we're not going to talk about that mm -hmm. um, but working for to keep power lines up in the air uh, reduce the veg vegetation management I like vegetation that. yeah integrated yeah. vegetation management is the term that we use because we also within that division of, of utility um, we also do spraying so herbicide spraying in the ditches okay. to Make sure that the stuff doesn't come back up and then cars run into it or yes. it's going growing right back into the power lines and causing outages. So we, we do spend a, a good majority of our winter time doing that where there's frozen ground and cross country sections that we can't typically get to in the summer. Sure. Swamps. Yeah. Uh, frozen swamps. And then during the summers and spring here, we, we do private and residential year round as well. Okay. But it does kind of, in Minnesota, you get a lot of people that fly south. So there's, sure. there's not quite as much volume of it. But now it's getting to be, um, it's go time again for a private and residential division. And um, it's, it's exciting. It's an exciting time of year, but it's also challenging because of the equipment. Um, some shortages in equipment over the last couple of years have been difficult for us ah, to get what we need. Right. Well, I would imagine with, you know, dozens of employees, you've got crews out all over the state. Yeah. You need a lot of 
it, one of one of our bucket trucks. One of our bucket trucks is uh, it's two years out on a build. So wow. trying to plan ahead for that has been a challenge, but uh, we've been overcoming it, uh, and our team has been finding different ways of getting things done. We actually just just purchased a a, a tree dismantling machine. We'll, oh. call, we'll call it that. It's called a, a Senebogen. So we're pretty excited. Oh, wait, about wait, wait. That. What, what's the technical word? Senebogen. Senebogen. Yes. Is, is it going to get a name? Or are we going to uh, just we, call it? We will it? have to. It's like the green machine, I suppose. Yeah. Right? We'll, we'll let the teams come up with it. They're much more creative than we are. <laughs> but yeah, it, it should really help us assist in the uh, trees in the cities. Like Fergus Falls here, for example, we, we've been working with the city to ensure that Dutch elm disease is um, not spreading any faster than it should be. Sure. And, and, and the technique that we're using for that is just tree eradication. Um, but now with Emerald Ash Borer continuing to move from the Twin Cities to Sock Center to Moorhead. Yeah. Um, have we seen it in the Fergus we, Falls We have not area? seen it in Fergus Falls. Yeah. We have not seen it in Otter Tail County yet. Okay. But um, most of these places are what we're finding out um, is that usually the, the insect has been in the area for up to four years prior to the okay. infestation level of the insect hasn't gotten to the point where it's actually killed trees so um, it, we are recommending to people that if, if they would like to treat their tree to save it that the the treatment is it's like 98 percent effective if okay. you treat the tree pre-infestation so sure. and, and emerald uh, dutch elm disease as well in right. fergus if, if you're a private resident that has an elm tree and you're wondering, well, I'll just wait for it to die of Dutch elm disease. Yeah. No, we can treat that tree very, very effectively. There are okay. some parameters um, about surrounding trees, but we, we love to save trees and take care of people's trees. We do way more than just cut them down. We do way more than just the, the vegetation management for the power line companies. And I think that's something that has really evolved over the last five years that maybe a lot of people don't, don't realize. Well, yeah, I had no idea that there was treatment for Dutch elm. I remember, you know, as a kid, more than 50 years ago, you know, having trees marked in my hometown of having Dutch right. elm and, and that type of thing. Never knew that it could be treated. So yeah. folks can get in touch with you for, like you said, it's not just taking trees down. Right. You're not just just chainsaws. No. It's, there's Any, a lot more to it. Anything that you can think of with trees, essentially, we have some part of. Okay. Yep. So yeah, you guys. I mean, you I didn't even have do to be it. like a I, biologist. Well, I want to say, that's, <laughs> as I say some, some credentials that make you uh, trustworthy. Is yeah. We do have uh, over 14 certified arborists through the International Society of Arboriculture. Wow. And we are one of three companies in the state of Minnesota that's accredited by the Tree Care Industry Association. So think about doctors, right? Yeah. If, if you're going to go to the doctor, you probably want to go to a hospital that's an accredited hospital, not like right. some guy that says he knows how to... Puts a sign on the door. ...fix you. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of the same thing with tree service. I mean, if you've got a chainsaw in a truck, you can call yourself a, chain, a tree service, I suppose. Yeah. But the, the level of expertise and the level of knowledge and the actual amount of care that people have is what, what we want to provide. For right. Them. Well, and you mentioned some certifications and different things, and Shay, you've been with CARS, so tell me about, like, a little bit about the career opportunities. I, I mean, I would have never, I would have never put all those certifications into CARS Tree Service, so I would bet there are some different skills that you're picking up. Yeah, and moving up is, you know, if you work hard and, and follow everyone else, you can move up and have a great opportunity and, and a great career. There's there's so much to look forward to at Cars. You know, there's so many great people to learn from that that are great leaders. And this company, every day, I you know, I put puts a smile on my face yeah. of of the direction that it's going. It's always going in the right direction. And like Evan said, you know, there's equipment issues. You know, there's 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 hiccups here and there that we got to get over. And we always do. We always find a way. Um, yeah. I, there's not a tree we can't do, you know. And that's 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 awesome. And you know, it's just yeah. Like you said, we were talking before. You, you can look at the tree, and uh, you know, as a homeowner, you might just say, "Well, they just got to take it down. They cut it and they tip it over." Well, you guys sit down and kind of like figure out that puzzle. Yeah. Yep. You know of what it's going to take to to do it in a safe way, efficient way. You know, I just love watching each of the different jobs that people have, and just like I said, it's it's like a well-oiled machine, but humans that are working so well together. Yeah, a lot of days I go home and my brain is just so tired from from so much thinking of because you got to be perfect. 
Yes. We're always working by houses or, or decks or, you know, clients' nice furniture outside or, you know, whatever it is. And you got to work around that all day and, and find ways to be to be efficient and safe and, and keep everyone happy and let them go home at the end of the day. Well, and you speak, of, let you know, the customer's happy, but it sounds like working on the crew is enjoyable too. We have, we have so much fun every day. <laughs> it's awesome. And yeah. Something different every day too. Yep. If you're not having fun, I mean, why, why are you, why are you working? I mean, yep. that's, that's a big thing for us. You got to have fun. You know, you got to want to be there. Right. If you don't want to be there, then, you know, then, then what's so the fun point? for everybody. Right. Exactly. Yep. So Evan, talk to us a little bit about what types of people that you are looking for. Cause I know, you know, like a lot of people in this area, they have plenty of business. Mm -hmm. We just need more crew, more yeah. staff. Um, yeah. So I think trustworthy people that have, um, I always misplace this word. People that are intentional about where they want to be. Sure. That that would be my perfect candidate. Someone yeah. that says, I know that I'm going to start here and maybe I don't know a lot about this industry, but I'm hungry. Yep. To well, learn more. Willing to learn. And case in point, Shay's like, I'm excited for what's next. What's next? How, how can I grow and, and be better? And really, I think that that's, that's what I look for in the candidates that we, we have that come through is people that want to find constant improvement. Yep. Um, because that's the only way that we're going to be the best as a company. That's the only way our customers are going to get the best um, communication and, and service. That's the, the, the only way that our employees are going to want to come to work. Because if, if they don't have that person that wants to be there working next to them or getting poured on and yeah. putting a smile on our face <laughs> and trying to make it happen, then it, then it doesn't work. Right. And so um, really just, just people that want to be a part of something and want to say, what's next um, because there is a ton of opportunity with with growth that we've seen in the last 10 15 years with multiple divisions right. um, being created and then um, you know people that need to sell the product as well you know sell the services that's something that we all kind of just took on and we all wore, wore these hats but we're, we're we're getting to the point where we can solidify in like for Shay an, an example Shay this summer is going to be working with the private residential crew and also working cutting trees down here in Fergus Falls that are diseased. Um, but the thing that's getting added to his list this year is bidding more trees. So okay. People in Fergus Falls, you, you might see Shay if you're. Yeah, and he's contact. from Fergus Falls. And he's too, from Fergus so. Falls. And that's really what our goal is is to have our employees live where they work and yeah. then develop that, um, that trust and relationship. With, with clients and then that trust and relationship with other people that live in the area that hear Shay say this place is awesome and it's something fun and new every day and yeah. then continue to, to grow, grow from there with a good quality base of employees. Like you said, the level of excitement that you guys bring and the whole crew, everybody was like super, you know, just inviting and, you know, easy to talk to and, you know, it's cool, you know, because the homeowner's out there so it's 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 entertaining to watch too, mm -hmm. like, you yeah. know, I gotta say. So. Yeah, we always say it's only 25 cents per picture. Yeah, <laughs> I think I probably owe you guys a whole lot more from the work you've done at our house. So lots of pictures yeah. and different things like that, and yeah, uh, we enjoy that. We're yeah. Good. So if folks want to apply or you know talk to somebody about uh, potentially joining the crew. I know there are a lot of uh, even high school seniors, so I would imagine they got to be eighteen. Yes, eighteen okay. is ideal. Um, there's there's limited opportunity for anybody that's under six uh, under 18 okay. just with uh, the safety yes. nature of, of the industry that we're yep. in so yeah so they can I'm sure go onto the website yeah check things best, out there best way to do it go to our website go to employment uh, tab employment at cars tree service it's right at the website and that's www.carstreeservice.com and, and uh, cars, cars with, two R's. with two R's you got the tagline so <laughs> Um, yeah, so, so just clicking on employment and seeing what our job opportunities and job listings are that are available. And if you if there's not something that's listed that, that maybe uh, an individual would, would say, oh, that's not really what I'm looking for, yep. uh, there, there's other opportunities. We maybe just don't have them listed as well. Right. So reaching out to our HR department, and that's easy too, hr at 
carstreeservice.com. With two R's. With two R's. HR and then two R's. Yep, HR <laughs> at carstreeservice.com. So yeah, lots of ways to get a hold of us. Phone call, of course, works wonderfully too because we, we love talking to people. Yep. Usually you get the best uh, interactions with people by having verbal conversations rather than a, a, yeah. a form. But yeah. we, we'll, we'll take applications in any way and love to uh, sit down with anybody and just chat about what, what they're looking for in their future. So. Sorry, my phone is talking next to it. You're not part of this interview. No, go cool away. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. The, the technology of things. But. And I kind of want to add, you know, if people think that the, this is, you know, there's, there's pressure to join this job, there, there's really not, you know, you know, as, as a foreman, you know, we're very inviting to, yeah. to help people learn. And that's, that's the biggest goal at the end of the day is people getting better. Mm -hmm. They you don't know. need to come in as, as an arborist. No, no. Or, or know these things. No. They, you know, be willing to work hard. But again, I mean. Let us teach, teach you that. Yeah, I, I don't remember if it was who had said today, but we show up and, you know, it's like, okay, Fridays are, these are extra job days or extra hours day, potentially overtime. You know that type of thing that it's like, and ever and to have the full crew there, yep. you know, just says a lot about your team and how well you work together, and you know you want to, you know, truly get after it. You know, you yep. enjoy what you do, and I would imagine it's it's different every day. It is. No day is yep. the same. Yep, yep, and challenges come up throughout the day, and you gotta you gotta get past them, you know, yep. the best way you can. Yeah, you figure out how to solve the problems and and move forward, yep. and yeah, that's. It's That's a great cool. thing with cars. Is we have a shop in Ottertail, and you know they're they're right there. They're they're very knowledgeable, and you know they can walk you through something that's broke down, or right. or you got to bring it back. Sure. And, you know it's right back. It's fixed and right back out there. The more it's used, the more it wears. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a lot of us homeowners that are finding out things with lawnmowers and different things over the next few yeah. weeks. So yeah. I, I I can only imagine you know the just the time that goes into the hours that are on some of the equipment but really cool equipment too I mean that yeah. that would be you know fun to technology run keeps, in the claw keeps making things easier yeah or something yeah no but but uh, yeah the, the ways that we used to do it loading it into trailers and, and chopping it up and going home with sore backs every single day I mean, yeah you know there's probably still a fair amount of, of sore backs here and there but um, you know, having a, grapple, a having a grapple truck to pick up 8,000 pound logs, 8,000 pound logs and sticking them into our trucks rather than us having to cut those into 50 different pieces and pick them up and, and throw them into, them a, in. into yeah. a trailer. I mean, really try to, uh, you know, keep the ergonomics and, and the, the manual labor where there's likelihood of injuries and things like that to a minimum by sure. utilizing the equipment that we have. Yeah. Tool cats and mini yeah. skids for backyards and backyard buckets for... The, the trees in the backyards that we can't get our big booms to. Um, we still do some manual climbing too, which is fun yeah. uh, for, the, for the guys that enjoy that excitement of, of climbing the trees, of course, with ropes and saddles at sure. all times. But. Yeah, all the safety gear in place for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, and as, as you've been in Fergus Falls and are doing some work both for the city as well as residential, what can you say to folks? Um, that encounter the signs that says utility work ahead or how can the community and the down. residents help out? Yeah, slow down. I mean, pay attention. We're doing dangerous stuff, you know, sometimes over roads. And, you know, we, we're always looking, but, you know, sometimes it's... Somebody might go around a cone. Yeah. <laughs> kind of loud out there, too. You probably guys, you guys probably uh, noticed that with, uh, whether it be multiple diesel trucks running or chainsaws running or blower, backpack blowers running. Yep. It, it can be loud too, so you know, people might, didn't you hear me? Didn't you hear me coming? Or, yeah, no. And not you always, no, we're focused on making sure that nobody gets killed and nothing gets smashed on a house. Right, you know, you know, and, yeah, so, so don't go past the cones because you don't, you know, that tree's coming down. There's caution tree. tape up, don't, yep. don't pick it up and go under it. Please, <laughs> please help us out, Keep keeping the public safe out here. And, if and you can go around the block, yeah, perfect. Yep. yep. Yeah, it's so going to be a busy summer. It, it it is. I hopefully not a busy storm summer. Yeah, right. Let's, Knock on that. Yeah. Last, last year was tough <laughs> yeah, with the storms. We had a lot of storms. Yeah. So, well, again, thanks, you guys, for coming in to share a little bit more about uh, cars and for being part of the Fergus Falls Chamber. We appreciate yeah. that and look forward to sharing more stories. And is yeah. it okay if, like, if you're out and about and doing work that... I just get out and watch. Absolutely. This is fun. 25 cents a picture. Okay, that's right. I'll remember that. I'll delete them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
know, yeah. absolutely stop it, and it would just be the same thing, you know, for for anybody. Is if, if you're stopping to watch, that's that's great. We we love to uh, show what we do and showcase our skill sets yep. and the equipment that we have. Stay back. Yep. That's, stay back. That'd be the only thing. Yep. Is just please stay back quite a ways, because um, you know, not not too long ago there was a guy in, in Minneapolis actually that worked for the city, cut a tree down, and put some logs for the tree to fall onto, and one of those logs shot all the way across the street where the the uh, landowner thought that they would be safe because oh. they were across the street. Sure. And actually broke their leg. That wasn't one of our crews no, right. sure. that happened, but it, but it kind of happens. Weird so things can happen, yep. And if you want to be the homeowner foreman, I think you said earlier, well, you are hiring. Yes. So go, go yes, through the yes. proper channels. Let us train you Yeah, properly exactly. First. Get trained first, <laughs> not be the boss in the backyard yeah. without it. So, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, you guys, for all your hard work and for maintaining and, you know, taking care of trees as well as all the customers that you have. Yeah. Appreciate the much. opportunity. You bet. We'll be back after a little break. One of my favorite things about working at Cars Tree Service is the fact that they give you the control over your career. They give everyone opportunities to grow their skill set, take additional education, pass certifications, and if you push hard and push into it, the sky's the limit for your career, your earning potential, and your skill set. And that is just one of the greatest things about working here. We're hiring for multiple positions, including mechanics. Go to CarsTreeService.com. That's Cars with two R's to fill out an application. The future is fast. The future is reliable. The future is local. The future is fiber. Park Region is committed to bringing fast, reliable, local fiber to rural Fergus Falls. Connect with us today at 218-998-2000 to go beyond the connection. Welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. Well, I want to thank Evan and Shay from Cars Tree Service for joining us today. And of course, their entire crew. Um, it's interesting work and great opportunity for folks for uh, employment. So check them out. Well, speaking of employment, uh, we got to celebrate the uh, Fergus Falls High School seniors with their signing day. Many of them are going directly into the workforce. Some are following uh, career pathways, others are going into the military, some are just undecided of yet, but we got to celebrate each and every one of them at the Senior Showcase Signing Day at Fergus Falls High School earlier this week, and uh, we wish them all the best for the seniors who are graduating this year. Later in the week, we had our Chamber MBA and uh, Corrine Scoop with Solutions Behavioral Healthcare did a great job of you know, helping uh, give some tips to how do you support your employees mental health with May being Mental Health Awareness Month. So thanks to Corrine and all of those folks that came to the Chamber MBA uh, Member Benefits Academy earlier this week. We also had Chamber Cafe with Community Education and Summit Carbon Solutions. So big shout out to everybody who came to make Chamber Cafe. Lots of great things going on this summer. And then we wrapped up our week with the groundbreaking for Park Region's new uh, fiber project that uh, installs will be going on and they're gonna start working with Ripley's to bring fiber to so many more homes and properties throughout Ottertail County. It's been a crazy week and we love it that way here in Fergus Falls. Uh, we will do this show again in a week or so and we will see you then. Other than that, I'm Lisa Workman with the Fergus Falls Chamber saying bye-bye.